Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about mods in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. This is a super guide. I did a lot of research to put this together so that you don't have to. I'm going to go over some basic facts. I'm going to give you some really revealing data. I'm going to squash some misconceptions, and I'm going to unveil what some of the best players in the game are doing with their mods. Let's start with some mod truths. These are truths for you to play by when it comes to mods. Number one, mods are extremely important. For example, here's my Han Solo. Look what happens if I were to take away all of the mods that I have equipped on him. It would neuter him. It would turn him into a wimpy, even more fragile, slow turtle. I would rather have a five-star Han Solo with my mods than a seven-star Solo without them. That's how much it makes a difference. And when you're going after big characters in special events, you want Grandmaster Yoda, you want Grand Admiral Thrawn, you want Emperor Palpatine, you want BB-8, you want R2-D2, you want any of those special characters that you need to get in events, guess what's probably going to make the difference for you? Mods. And when you're in the squad arena, your ranking can be affected hugely by the mods that you have equipped. Do not underestimate the power and the importance of mods in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. If you are not paying attention to your mods, you are not going to do nearly as well in this game. The best mods in the entire game are speed mods. Mods that give you speed give you advantage. Speed synergizes with everything else in this game. If you do damage, everything you do offensively, if you inflict buffs, anything you do to your opponent is enhanced by speed because speed allows you to do it more, more often, more turns per round. It is the ultimate synergizing stat. Get your characters sped up. It should be your number one priority when it comes to mods. Where do you get mods in this game? Earlier in the game, you're going to have to get them from the mod battles because you need to complete those, and those are going to give you some very basic mods. But you want to get to stage 8, and you want to farm those speed mods first. You want to make sure that all of your squad arena characters have speed mods on them and this will give you speed set bonuses as well and that's also great so get this early in the game until all of the characters you use regularly have all of the mods they either have speed or are speed set bonuses in all of their slots later on in the game you're going to do the mod challenges and when you can get all the way to the last one the speed mod challenges you have a decent resistance team then in there you're going to get some better mods and you can get in the mod battles here you can get three four occasionally five dot mods that give you speed set bonuses again you want speed set bonuses on as many of your characters as you can Late in the game, later in the game, or if you find yourself with extra credits or fleet currency, you're going to be able to buy mods from the mod store. This is great because, number one, you don't need to spend your cantina energy anymore getting mods. Number two, you get to pick which mods you get. If you don't like it, you don't need to buy it. You are not rolling the dice anymore on which mods you get. So as soon as you get to the point in the game where you can start to afford these, this is where you want to be because you make the decisions. Now, where you don't get to decide is how these level up from level 1 to level 15. That's still a dice roll, but what you start with, you control and the ones that you should be starting with are ones that already have speed now let's talk about your top priorities when you're buying mods from the mod store i want you to spend wisely you cannot buy all the mods in the mod store you cannot buy most of the mods in the mod store you can't even buy a few mods every day in the mod store unless you're a whale and you're spending extra real dollars on this game i'm a free-to-play player i don't do that but even if you are a whale and you're throwing extra dollars at this game there are still priorities you need to bear in mind to make sure you get the best mods for whatever bucks you are or are not spending on this game Your top priority for getting mods in the mod store and also for leveling mods once you get them, whether you get them from the mod store or elsewhere, the ones you want to spend your credits on leveling are four or five dot receiver mods. Those are the arrows in the top right corner that have a speed primary stat and a speed 
set bonus. That is your number one priority for the mod store. That is your number one priority for leveling up mods. Do not level up or purchase any other mod instead of this kind of mod. Now, you're not always going to be able to find the speed primary with the speed set bonus. That's okay. You can buy mods that go in that slot that don't have a speed set bonus, but they still need that speed primary stat. Okay, the primary stat is not the same as the set bonus that that mod confers. It could be a little confusing because you may see speed on the mod and think, okay, this is going to give me speed. No, when you see speed icon on the mod, that only means you can get a set bonus with it. It doesn't mean speed is in the primary stat. The opposite is also true. You see critical chance. It doesn't mean it doesn't give you speed. You have to tap on it. You have to look at it to see what's in that primary stat. If it is speed and it is one of those arrow receiver mods, buy Buy it and level it up. Why? Because when something is in the primary stat slot, it is guaranteed to level up based on the dots that mod has. So if you have a four dot mod of any speed set bonus and it has speed in that primary stat, it is going to get plus 26 speed no matter what when it's level 15. And if it's a five dot mod, no matter what, you pay to level it up with credits to get it to level 15, it'll be plus 30, like these two here, guaranteed. That's why these must be your top priority. There's no better mod than a plus 30 speed in the primary slot. Now, the top right arrow receiver slot there is not the only slot. You have five other slots. What about those? Well, the bad news is you cannot get a speed primary in those other five slots. The good news is you can get a speed secondary. So let's talk about those priorities. Again, you want to see speed in the secondary stats for all of your other five slots, the triangle, the circle, the square, the, the cross, all of those, you want to see speed in that secondary stat listing before you buy it. Now, it's possible to get speed when you level it up in some cases, but don't do that because you may not get any speed if you buy one that doesn't have it to begin with. So only buy mods that have speed in the secondary slot to begin with, except for the receiver, which again, you want that in the primary slot. Ideally, you will also have one that gets a speed set bonus, but if not, fine, get one that doesn't. Look, the speed set bonus is four mods. You still have two other slots you can use to get another set bonus, like potency, like health, like defense, whatever, anything that uses that has a set bonus of two, you're still going to want to get those mods sometimes because you can't get two speed set bonuses, but you still can get speed. So whether you want potency, like this is one of my old Ben mods because he's great with potency. Well, I still want a potency mod and a potency set bonus. I want both of those to give me extra speed for old Ben. He is awesome when he's fast. So again, your priorities for all other slots except that arrow slot is to get speed in the secondary stat to start with. Now, when you level up a mod from level 1 to 15, unlike the primary stat, which is set in stone, you may get no additional boost to your speed secondary, or you may get as much as plus 20 to your speed secondary. It is a roll of the dice. There is nothing you or any whale out there can do to change that roll of the dice. It is baked into the game. But that's why I don't want you to buy any mods in these other five slots that don't start with speed because you may not get any more. So at least at the end of the day, you know you're guaranteed to get some speed because you bought it to start with. And that is why I'm telling you right now, do not buy any other mod except speed primary in the arrow slot, speed secondary in the other slots for your characters. Now, I just told you that the speed secondaries may give you nothing or they may give you a lot when you level them up from level 1 to 15. But what actually happens? Well, I analyzed all of my mods. I have 267 mods that have 
a speed secondary in them. So the speed primary, we already know that goes up to plus 30 when you have a five dot mod. So I didn't need to look at those, but I looked at all of my other mods in all five other slots and I had 267 with speed secondaries. I made sure they were all leveled up to level 15. So I spent a lot of my credits. I'm very low on credits right now, thanks to this video, but I did it for us. And now I have never ever sold a speed mod. I've always thought they're important. So my deck of mods should be a fairly representative sample for the rest of you. Now, how did I figure out what the ratings of all these speed mods were? I went to swgoh.gg. I have my account profile synced with that website. It is a wonderful source of information. And when you click on your name and then you click on my mods and then you click on filters, you can see all of the speed secondaries you have if you have them equipped on your characters. As you can see here, 250 out of my 267 mods were actually on my characters. So this gave it to me nice and neat, sorted from highest speed secondary to lowest speed secondary. And I inputted all of those into a spreadsheet. I then went in the game and when you're equipping mods or you're selling mods, you can still see all of your mods there. I looked at all of those to see what the speed secondaries were on the other 17 I did not have equipped. Then I added those to my spreadsheet. And again, I made sure those were up to level 15, even though I wasn't using them. So what do the speeds look like across all of these 267 mods. these What do the speed secondaries look like? Here it is. This is the distribution of speed bonuses across those 267 mods. You can see there's a sharply decreasing function here, whereby the number of times you're going to get a major speed bonus when you level up a mod goes down pretty sharply. So you're not going to get plus 15, plus 20, or anything close to that on your mods most of the time. In fact, over half of my mods, 57% of my mods were still at the base values of plus three, plus four, or plus five. They did not go up at all when I leveled them up to level 15. That again is why I encourage you to buy them with speed to begin with because it's your only guarantee you will get any speed in that mod because at least half the time you won't get anything else after you level it up. This is evidence of that. Now I did have a fairly significant chunk though that were around seven, eight, or nine. Almost a quarter of my mods got a bump when I got up to level 15. Not multiple bumps, but like a bump. And so you can expect to have a fair number of mods around this range, but not nearly as many as you do that never leveled up. Finally, about one out of every five of my mods that has a speed secondary, and again, these are five dot mods, ended up with a final speed bonus of 10 or more. They hit double digits. But as you can see, once I got into the upper teens, it flatlined. I don't have any mods that are plus 18 or more in the speed secondary category. So the chances of getting those must be exceptionally rare. If you've ever gotten a plus 20 or anything close to that when you've leveled up a mod, you got really freaking lucky. Clearly, the chances are less than one in hundreds. So it's a fraction, a sliver of 1% to get plus 20. You'd have to buy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mods to get more than a few in the upper teens or 20s with the speed secondary at the end of the day. And by the way, I don't know why there are so few mods that are plus six. You can see it really is an outlier here. I think it's because you start with plus three, four, or five, and you're always going to get like a plus three or more from them when you upgrade. So therefore, you really can't get to six with a five dot mod. And so I think that's what's happening here. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. Now, overall, across all of these, the mean mod, the average of all of this means that when I equip a mod that has a speed secondary, that's five dot level 15, on average, it's gonna be about 6.6 .6 or so of a speed secondary bonus. Now, that's not bad. 
That means that if I have in all of my five other slots, again, and we're not talking about the arrow here, that's plus 26 or plus 30, but in the other five slots, I'm getting six or seven speed out of each of those. That means I could be getting another 30 or 35 speed if they all have speed secondaries on average. That's pretty good, given that some characters in this game only have a base speed of 90 or 100. That's a major boost. Add that to the plus 26 or plus 30, in the receiver arrow slot there and now you've got quite a bit more speed for your character but the icing on the cake of course would be a speed set bonus so this is what you can expect when you buy mods that have a speed secondary now there are some myths and misconceptions people think they can game the system or they think certain things are going to screw them or whatever when it comes to buying mods that have a speed secondary well when i looked at my data all of these myths got shut down myth number one that the slot has a bearing on whether or not there is a speed secondary in it wrong i found no substantial differences based on the slot there, yeah there's a one the diamond seems to have a little bit more in my case um now but i know why slot two the arrow slot has so few it's because i don't buy mods that have speed secondaries in that slot it makes no sense i only want the speed primaries there so that's why i only have 12 percent. those are probably ones i won in events or ones i bought before i knew any better but otherwise they're pretty much spread equally so you have a pretty decent shot of running across a mod that has a speed secondary in any of those other slots and so don't panic that oh my god it's going to be impossible to get multiplexers or data buses with a speed secondary, you'll be fine. Now, also, some people think different set type bonuses have more or less chance to get have a speed secondary. But as you can see here, nothing here has an exceptionally large or exceptionally small slice of the pie. The one thing that is a little low is these mods that have a health set bonus don't seem to have speed secondaries a lot. That's because the game keeps throwing crappy health mods as rewards for events and they don't have speed as speed secondaries like ever when they give them to us so that's why that's only 33.8 percent now i don't know why mods that have critical chance in my collection seem to be much more likely to have a speed secondary than not i couldn't tell you i did normalize this based on the amount of mods so this is 60 percent of my crit chance mods have a speed secondary um it may have been that I was just looking for those at one point, but still, nothing here is too out of whack. So don't feel like, hey, if I go with tenacity mods, I'll, I'll, I'll have a better chance or a worse chance at getting a speed secondary. No, they're all going to pop up pretty evenly in the mod store. Don't worry about it. And again, you want the speed set bonuses if you can get them, but you're still going to need other set bonuses as well and get so get the ones that you need and want and don't feel like you have to change your decisions based on the set bonus they confer to get any kind of better odds of getting a speed secondary final misconception is that where you see speed listed in the slot when you buy it like if it's listed first second third or fourth among the secondaries has some effect on how high it will get boosted that is a misconception here are my top speed secondaries from swh.gg that i have equipped and look very only one of my top 10 is in the first slot that third one there i have plenty in the second slot and a few in the third slot i don't have any in the fourth slot here if i scroll down you could see some more that are in the fourth slot as well I think the reason people have that misconception is because when you have a green mod or a blue mod or a purple mod, they don't have all the slots filled to begin with. Now, every colored mod has something in that slot to begin with. So green has one, blue has two, purple has three. It's only gold mods that start with something in all four slots. That just means that across all mods that exist besides the gray mods, they're just more in that first slot naturally. But once you, it's clear that once you level them up, they all have the same chance to get a bonus. So if you buy a gold mod and the speed is listed third or fourth, 
Don't look at that any differently than if it's listed first or second. Anyone who tells you otherwise, ask them for the data like I am showing you here to back up their case. They won't have any. It's anecdotal. That's why you look at large data sets. It dispels misconceptions like that that we pick up when our skewed biases lead us to false conclusions. So don't worry about which order it's listed in the secondaries. Now, the last thing I want to go over in this video are the speed mods of top players. What do they have? So I looked at the top 20 players who were over a 12 hour period in the top 15 in the squad arena in my shard. Now my shard is probably different than your shard. You have a different set of players you're competing with than I do in most cases, but I have a very mature competitive shard. I've been playing this basically since the beginning. So my shard's one of the originals and my shard tends to be a little more advanced than the average. When I look at SWGOH.GG, I'm seeing older teams um, that are sort of behind the meta um, than mine are. I'm already seeing multiple Treyas and Emphis Nests and things like that in my shard. In my other video I'm releasing with this one, I'm going to go into more detail about that stuff. But I also did, when I looked at these players, a speed mod analysis. Now, this was a lot of mods to look at, right? We have 20 players. They each have five characters in their arena team. Each of those characters has six mods. So yes, 600 mods I collected data on so that you could know what these top players had. Now, basically 100 of those were those receiver slot, the arrow slot, and all of them had plus 30s in all five of their characters. Without exception, I couldn't find any that didn't. But what about those other 500? How often do they have speed secondaries and how big are their bonuses? I found the results to be very interesting. Now, first of all, this is how much data I had to compile and analyze. It took a lot of time and work, but here's what I found. Here is the distribution of the speed secondary bonuses across all of those other, those 500 slots. So we've got like a nice bell curve here. And what you can see is right in the middle, seven out of 10 of those slots. So for any two characters, if we look at all of their slots, seven out of 10 of them have between a plus nine and a plus 15 in each of those slots. So basically the top arena players are putting the plus 30 in that top right arrow slot and they're putting about a plus 14 almost on average in each of those other slots. So that's a pretty significant bonus. They're getting another like plus 70 out of their characters. So a lot of them are getting 100 plus 100 across all six mod slots. Plus a lot of them are getting speed set bonuses. So basically another 110. And so that is quite a lot. But if any of you were thinking, well, if you can get plus 20, that must be what they have. They must all have like plus 25. Uh, no, actually, um, across all of those players, there was only one mod that was plus 25. There was one that was plus 26. It must have started with plus six. There was only one in all those characters, one little slot that had a plus 24 and only two that had plus 22 or plus 23. So you actually probably are not that far away if, from these players. Of course, they do have a handful in the 20s because they're whales, so they can spend crap tons of money to get them, but even they have difficulty getting those super ultra speed secondaries. Now, if I compare myself to these top players, I've been um, an average of 36 in the squad arena over the last month. Again, I'm free to play. I'm running a CLS led team. I'm not keeping up with the current metas. I can't because I don't spend real money on this game, but on average, I put about an 11 in my speed secondaries. Um, you see, I don't have a ton of those. I put them basically all on my squad arena characters um, with few exceptions. And so you could basically imagine that the further down you go, this trend probably continues. So as you get closer to 100 or 200 or 500 or 1,000, you're basically going to see that there's less and less speed being added to the characters. There's a very 
strong correlation, I believe, between speed and the success of these characters. A lot of times, especially at the top, the battle comes down to what happens in the first round or two and who gets to go first and inflict debuffs or give their team buffs first. Who stuns? Who ability blocks? Who puts tenacity up? Who taunts? What happens first sets the tone for the rest of the battle, and it's because of speed. So that's my analysis of speed mods. So I hope you know how important mods are now, and if you knew it before, I hope this reinforces that belief. I hope that you have a redoubled appreciation for how important speed mods are. I hope you feel more confident in what you're buying from the mod store, or if you're buying yet from the mod store, which ones to buy. I hope you feel better about which mods you're leveling up and when, and I hope you feel better about what you're getting when you level up a mod and it has a speed secondary. Remember, speed wins. No speed, no sale, no success. If this video seemed useful to you, if you appreciate all the hard work and data analysis I did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, send me a comment. If you have other questions about mods, if you, you want to share what your mods are like, what your top players are like, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And in the meantime, I'm Nick, aka Phaserbrain, signing off. I will see you around the galaxy.